why is independence important? It's you know a basic human need. It's, it's something deep down where you you know you don't want to be having to ask for every little thing. You want to be able to change that TV channel. You don't want to have to ask, oh, can you please call the elevator for me? It's you know it's just a human need, a basic need. This product um, I started making in, uh, in 2009 when Steve contacted us, asking us if we could do an automation system for the Land of Florence Center. And I thought that was a really great challenge. So took Steve up on it, came out, talked with him and uh, you know, figured out what he wanted. The, the ideas that went into Peak was a lot of Steve saying like, I would like to see you know, this kind of functionality. I want to you know, be able to do thermostats, doors, elevators. Basically, I want you know, independence. I want to be able to get around without anybody you know, having to help me at all times. Peak is an, uh, an environmental automation controller that allows the user to interact with his environment, that be it a TV, a door, a blinds, elevators, you know, anything electronic. The system is, is um, server-based, it's, um, it's independent of the internet, so you're not, if the internet goes out, the system keeps running, and the package that it comes scales with the abilities of the user. If you can use a mouse, you can just click those buttons as you're always used to. If you can touch a touch screen, it works on the, on the tablets, on the Android tablets, on the iPads, all that. If you start getting limited in what you can do, Peak will integrate with a scanning interface or intermediary where you have the head tracking like Steve is using, where you can just, you know, with your head point to which buttons you want to press. So out of the box, Peak scales with what you need. When Peak gets installed in a building, it can be a retrofit and it doesn't mean that the whole building has to be torn up. The, the Peak system is designed to to integrate with minimal invasion. If there is networking infrastructure in the building, then Peak is good to go. A lot of the Peak system just replaces existing switches or, or uses Wi-Fi. So it's not like if you want the Peak system that you'd have to tear open your whole facility. It'll, it'll just be able to slide in. One of the strengths of, of Peak is, is that you can adjust it and customize it to your desires, to your preferences. If you look at, for example, Steve's interface, it'll look nothing like his, his neighbors. He can put the buttons where he wants, he can put which buttons wherever he wants. It is fully customizable to whatever you, know, you need to get out of the system. So you know, whatever you need, Peak will mold to that. The market for Peak, uh, currently I, I really think it's, uh, it's uh, people with disabilities, facilities like the Leonard Florence Center, where, it, where there was a, you know, several people living in a home, um, but also at home, just at home, and individually, you can use Peak for people with disabilities. Veterans coming coming out of war could also benefit, could also uh, benefit from this tremendously. Peak uh, the, as a solution is never done. If you need something new or have a different device or want to interact with it differently, you can talk to us and we can work with that. So you know, it's it's never done a solution like this, and we and, and we're open to suggestions and, and comments, and we'd love to bring you know more ideas in and make it more useful, so that you know once it once you start to work with it, it's it's um, you know something that you can really enjoy and and and, and get a lot of use out of, because that's you know what we're going for. Mm -hmm.